Hey, my name is Eric Worrell, and perhaps you've had this same frustrating feeling, probably in the spring, right? So this mower, two years old, Toro Storm Go, spent about $300 on it, and I can't get the darn thing started. I've changed out the gas, I've changed out the oil, I've played with the spark plug, I have cleaned the filter, and I don't wanna take it to somebody to get professionally fixed because I just bought it two years ago. <laughs> so I'm very frustrated with this gas mower and I've decided to make the switch to an electric and I thought it would be helpful to make this video showing the difference between a gas and electric mower. And the mower you're looking at right now is the 21 inch 56 volt lithium ion cordless battery walk behind push mower from Ego. And what I'm gonna be comparing it to because I own both of these mowers is the Toro Recycler 22 inch Smart Stow High Wheel Variable Speed Walk Behind Gas Self Propelled Mower. So first things first, um, the reason I decided to compare these two particular mowers is that they're in a similar price class. So this uh, one, as you can see, is $329 and the electric is $399 at Home Depot. So what I wanna do is I wanna go down the page and just kind of compare a few things on here and go over a few highlights of of these lawnmowers and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you this electric mower in action you probably got a good idea of how a gas lawnmower works so I'm really gonna go in and show you what the electric mower is capable of and I'll tell you straight up in the beginning that this review is pretty biased and the reason for that is my gas mower has trouble starting uh, it's only been a couple years old I've only had it for a few years I should say and I cannot get the darn thing started this spring so that's why I'm doing this review I want to do a review of exactly what the ego uh, lawnmower looks like how it compares to a gas uh, when a gas mower is working so let's jump into a few aspects of this this is the handlebar that you can um, with one hand you can raise and lower the uh, lawnmower deck uh, to six different settings which is super nice one of the things that I really appreciate being a taller guy is that the handlebar that you can see here um, it's a telescoping or telescoping I'm not sure if I'm saying that right handle so it can uh, be uh, very high which is nice because I am six foot six and I found that this is actually really nice to push behind so uh, a couple other things uh, you can see this little bar right here so if we go back to the uh, bigger picture here you can see it kind of right in there so that bar is what you can just push in and it'll allow you to uh, maneuver uh, if you want to stow and go with this electric you can kind of uh, push the handlebar down and then push it over on itself, stand it upright and do all those kind of things. Um, this is where the battery goes in. If you can see right here, this is where your fingers would grab this, open it and put the battery in. Um, the wheels are plastic on this particular um, device and the, the uh, mower deck is plastic. Uh, I know there's a lot of people that'll say like, oh, you gotta go gas, more power, you know, steel, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna try to debunk that myth the best I can. So here you can see it uh, standing upright. Of course, there's no issues with this because there's no gas, there's no oil. So let's move down a little bit and just check out a few important things that are important to establish with this compared to the Toro. So the biggest difference really, if you're looking at electric versus gas is not the ability of the machine to cut the lawn. I mean, we have cars that can drive 80 miles an hour on electric power. Like it's 2018, I'm not really concerned about the ability of an electric lawnmower to cut the lawn. I mean, it's not that big of a task compared to pushing a car 80 miles an hour. But the thing that I was concerned about is how long will a charge hold? Will it cut through really deep, thick grass uh, like my gas mower could when it was starting? So I'm gonna cover all that in the video coming up, but just a couple of bullet point highlights here. So you get up to a 45 minute um, cut time included with the battery that they send you with this particular device. It says it's a 40 minute charge time with included charger. I found it to be a little bit faster than that. And the only other thing I wanted to um, kind of highlight here is that it folds easily for compact storage. Again, because you don't have oil, you don't have gas kind of moving out throughout the machine and worrying about you know getting into the wrong parts. Uh, it's a push button start, which we'll highlight. And uh, the uh, LED, LED headlights, I don't know if you want to mow your lawn in the middle of the night, but you know I thought that was kind of weird. So let's move over to the uh, recycler smart stow and go from Toro that I have. So this particular device, I mean, frequently bought together, this is the thing that bothers me, right? So am I supposed to mix this premium? I'm not even sure what this is. It's a, uh, oh, this is the small engine oil. So you gotta figure out the right engine oil that goes into it. I'm trying to figure out if a dipstick has the right amount of oil on it to me is one of the most infuriating um, parts of owning any kind of gas 
uh, appliance or uh, you know a lawnmower, a weed whacker, whatever, whatever. You know, it's just uh, frustrating. So the other thing with gas is uh, I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, this is from the Stow and Go. What they claim that the gas should be like that you're putting into the machine, and it's just so complicated. Like. Am I going to go and get gas and it's going to wreck it? Is the gas over 30 days old in the machine? You know, these are the kind of things that frustrate me with a gas mower. I mean, it probably frustrates a lot of people because this one's got a four star review, 1925 reviews. This one's nearly five star with 1500. So, you know, there's a little social proof for you right there. So why don't we move down? There is a, a couple things that I wanted to highlight on this particular model. It says that there's nine cutting positions. I found the um, mechanisms to raise and lower the steel deck to be very cumbersome. Um, and the other thing I wanted to kind of point out is the weight of the product. So uh, let's see if we can find the weight here. So product weight is 78 pounds. If you go over to the electric, because it is an electric machine, um, you don't have all the components that a gas uh, powered uh, lawnmower would have. So the product weight is 69 and a half pounds. So it might not sound like a whole lot, you know, that nine pound difference or so, but uh, to me, that's a big difference if, because the one is a self-propelled, this gas one, and then the electric that I'm comparing it to is a push. So those are just a few things I wanted to kind of go back and forth on comparing these two models. And now let's jump into actually seeing them side by side, what they look like, and uh, kind of uh, show you how well the Ego 21 inch um, lithium uh, walk behind uh, mower did in my test here. So let's take a look and jump right into it. Probably one of the most important things is how long will the charge last? So what you're looking at here is an aerial view of my house and this is the front lawn. This is how long the grass was. This is the side lawn that I'll be showing here in a second. So a little quick speed through, I'm not that fast. But, and this is the back lawn. So again, you can see how long the grass is uh, in my lawn. So my lot is 8,700 square feet, which according to Google is approximately 0.2 acres. So not to ruin it, but uh, just happened to work out that actually my neighbor across the street was mowing her lawn with the gas mower. Um, you can see that she's actually emptying clippings. I am just uh, mulching, uh, leaving the clippings on my lawn. It's fine for your lawn from what I've heard. Uh, so I'm not too worried about that. But so just to kind of uh, give you a little bit of insight ahead of time, I was able to mow my entire lawn, uh, which is 0.2 acre lot uh, with one charge of the battery. So what you can see here again is a close up of kind of getting an idea of how long I let the grass get in my front yard. So the battery comes with about a 15% charge or so on it and then you just have to charge it which I found took me about 37 minutes and I'll get into that as I do an unboxing later. But one of the things that I really like about this mower is it's actually not a self-propelled mower. Uh, I don't mind that because I don't have a big lawn. They do offer the self-propelled version for a couple hundred dollars more. I think it's like 700 bucks. I'll put that on screen, the pricing. So if you're thinking about pushing this electric lawnmower, because it's electric, it's much lighter. And I know some people get weirded out about it being plastic or whatever. I could care less. I just want to know, does it work and does it cut the lawn? So again, you can see how long the lawn was back here and it has no problems cutting through it. The, uh, another thing that I really appreciate about this um, lawnmower is actually the blades are very sharp on it. So at the end of this video, I'm gonna show you how it actually cut a root um, <laughs> that's kind of sticking up in my lawn and just like slice an entire section of that root off. So I'm gonna let uh, previous Eric uh, talk about that in a second here when he finishes the lawn right now. I love it. I'm super impressed. I wanted to show you a couple quick things. Hopefully, you know, you can deal with my sweat a little bit. I'm a sweaty uh, guy. Right here, we got a pile of grass, all right? Got a little stuck on the back end. Uh, probably has to do more with um, the fact that I let my lawn go so long. Another aspect of that is that you're gonna probably get more of that um, uh, grass getting stuck in the uh, lawnmower is yes, if the lawn is very long, but also I wasn't shooting that grass into a bag and emptying it. It was just kind of going out the um, little shoot out of the back just to, uh, to mulch it and leave it on the uh, lawn. So I don't know if that makes any difference, but let's take a look at the uh, root that the uh, Ego um, electric lawnmower chopped off right here. And then as far as the sharpness of the blades, I've always had these roots that are in my lawn here. Uh, and you can see this one right here, uh, very sharp blades. It just hacked this right off of there. <laughs> so 
pretty powerful to be able to cut that down. And then, uh, yeah, I mean, you kind of saw what the lawn looked like before and uh, super impressed. Really, really impressed. All right, well, let's and take then, a look at what the I unboxing looks like for this. Uh, and really uh, we'll go through that feature. so I can show you exactly what you'd get if you're interested in this particular lawnmower. And I should mention that the lawnmower that I am reviewing here, the Ego uh, 21 Electric, um, Ego was nice enough to send this to me to review. So I am biased in a couple ways. But first I wanna show you the telescoping uh, handle here. This is really nice because despite me being really small on screen, I am six foot six. So I have found that this is really nice for my back because this particular lawnmower, uh, the telescoping uh, handles come up really high where my other lawnmower did not. All right, so this is an unboxing video and I'm gonna speed this up for you because frankly, it's kind of boring if you're just watching an unboxing video, but that device there holds the uh, bag in the back and here is what the battery charger docket looks like. We will get back to that later. Here is where you can hold your grass clippings and then this is the shoot that if you wanna shoot the uh, grass out, here is the actual battery that I got with this particular one. I believe this is the 56 volt battery. And then here's the lawnmower. And like I said, it's not very heavy, uh, pretty easy to lift out of that because I have definitely lifted my other lawnmower enough times into my trunk and feel like my back is gonna come through my skin. So uh, you can drop this down. One of the nice things is there's no oil in it, so you don't have to worry about, you know, that. And then you can see the uh, what I mentioned earlier, the telescoping uh, handles here. As promised, this is at 1.20 p.m. This is me charging the battery for the very first time. On the left, you can actually see some liquid mechanic, it's called. That's something I tried dumping into my uh, lawnmower to try to get it to work, but it just didn't work out. So 2.07, um, approximately 47 minutes later, um, the battery was fully charged. So at this point, uh, lawnmower is just pretty much all set to go. If you got a lot of value out of this video, you can do me a favor by giving this a thumbs up and leaving a comment below because what I'd like to do is do some review of other Ego products. I have used their um, electric chainsaw here. My parents actually have most of these products and they work great, but I would love to do some product reviews for Ego. So if you give me a thumbs up and leave some comments, I'd be happy to answer any questions you have and I'd really appreciate that. So uh, I've also got a couple videos on the screen right now that you can check out related uh, to this review video on electric burst gas mowers and uh, you can check those out and I appreciate you guys watching the video. And again, uh, give me a thumbs up if you liked it and uh, I hope you go electric because I'm really loving it so far. All right, take care.